Hello, my name is Kato. I'm a member of winemaking team of Teliani Valley. And uh, Teliani Valley is the winery which are producing different types of wine. We're making Georgian traditional wine, sparkling wine, classic style method, and the rosé wine. We have different brands. Uh, for example, Winery 97. We have uh, also Glechuri wines where we have only Kfebri wines, Georgian traditional wines. And we have Teluri, which is also a different brand. And uh, I wanted to say a little bit more more Teluri Sapravi, which is one of the main uh, wine and the brand what we have. Uh, it's very important for us that in 2022 we got the gold medal in New World Wine Award. So this was very special for us. And here we have uh, this wine to try it first. Uh, we need to say that Sapravi is the main grape variety what we have in Georgia. Uh, and uh, this is tenchery or grape. Uh, it means that we have like the skin and pulp, both of them we have red. And Sapravi is very rich with the tannins and has a huge potential of aging. We're aging Sapravi for so long time, but the main thing is that it's also really interesting and good when it's young and when it's fresh. So main character what Sapravi has, it has very rich blueberry, cherry aromas, which is very intensive and the tannins and the body what we have in a wine gives us the opportunity to age it really well. Now we will try two white wines from two different brands what we have. The first is Teli Anivelli and second is Mtavroli. So first wine what we have here, this is Inandali, which is the microzone Pedeo in Georgia, which is made from two different grape varieties. This is aged in oak barrel. Generally, uh, Inandali is the uh, microzone, which is always aged in oak barrel. Uh, this is a dry, always dry wine and very fresh and tropical flavors it has. For sure, we see the influence of uh, oak barrel, which gives a little bit vanilla notes in our wine. And on a taste, it uh, has the acidity for sure. But also we need to underline that it's very light, very easy drinking wine. It doesn't need a lot of things to eat with this. So you can just drink one glass and uh, just have nothing with it because it's very easy drinking and very fresh. Second wine, what we have, this is semi-sweet wine, Alazani Belli. This is really good with the desserts. Uh, this is the wine you know, which has more like the ripe fruit flavors and also on a nose you can feel that it's like the sweeter wine because it's more dessert wine and gives this more sweet ripe fruit notes and has very elegant taste and also after taste is like the really really pleasant and smooth so next what we have here this is the rose wine also we are doing uh, in georgia rose technology for sure but it's very important that we are using our own grape varieties saparabi mm, is very special grape because uh, uh, as i said you can age it you can like uh, have it when it's young but also you're making rose from this wine uh, generally our roses are a little bit more uh, like the dark uh, than like the European roses uh, because Sapravi is really really rich with anthocyanins and because of that we have it's like the more dark and very important is that we have flower notes uh, which is one of the main thing in uh, uh, rosé wines uh, in Georgia and it's semi-dry uh, because semi-dry roses are the uh, very popular in Georgia and a lot of people love it very much so Zaprabi itself has the tannins for sure, but in a rosé wine we don't want to have tannins for sure because rosé is for easy drinking for summer and this uh, a little bit uh, uh, sweetness residual what we have balancing uh, each other really well. Okay, so next one what we have, uh, uh, like the very special wine, which is very important for Georgia, I can say that most important because this is Georgian traditional wine, which is made in a kfevri. So I just want to explain a little bit what is the kfevri. So this is a big jar, which is under the ground and made from a clay. And here we are making wines for 8,000 years. So 
uh, here we always have skin contacted wine so we're putting not only juice also skin inside of the clay and because of that this is always skin contacted wine and we always have this amber color White wine, which is made in a query by Georgian traditional method, is always uh, amber wine. So here we have Katz Italy grape variety, which is most popular white grape variety in Georgia. It's from Kacheti region, which is main wine region in Georgia. And very interesting, what I can say is that here we have different notes, totally different notes, more dried fruit flavors we have. It's not fresh, not easy drinking. It has tannins. And because of that, our white wines has a huge potential to age it really well right now we're moving on red wines and i want to start with a uh, blend of cabernet and saperavi so um as you know saperavi is the most important grape variety what we have in georgia and we also have uh, like uh, French and Italian uh, grapes in Georgia. So one of them is Cabernet, what we have. Uh, generally blends are not very, very popular in Georgia, especially when it's like the uh, foreign uh, grape and Georgian grape. So it was very important for us to do some experiments. So Cabernet and Saperavi was um, one of the best uh, decision to blend it uh, because uh, both of them has this really uh, full, uh, like the really full body and the very rich with the aromas. So because of that, in the end, we got like the dark ruby colored wine and uh, on a taste like the uh, cherry blueberry flavors we have for sure from Saparabi, but we cannot say that Saparabi is 100% dominant here. So great is that we, I think that we found the balance between those two uh, grape varieties. So because of that, Cabernet is also really good for aging and Saparavi. Both of them gives us the opportunity to age it really well. And also it pairs really well with the meat, with the mushrooms, with the cheese. So it's one of the best wine for food and wine pairing. Okay, so what do we have here? The next one. So this is our special series. Uh, 97, winery 97, what we have. So this is Saparavi unfiltered. Um, so uh, for us uh, to make unfiltered Saparavi was very important uh, because uh, uh, I think that one of the most important thing, this is the color, just to maintain color and not to lose the color was very important here because of that we did it unfiltered, because of this we did the cold maceration. For sure we had, this is important that here we made this wine in a stainless steel Mm, after that we for sure did the secondary fermentation uh, this is to compare to Sapphira which is made in a query which we have this is more light so here we wanted to make uh, make like wine which will be more easier to drink and to show people more soft um, like face of uh, Sapphira still for sure mm. You can always feel here tannins, uh, but these tannins are like the softer and smoother uh, because it was um, in a, a stainless uh, steel. In Georgia, it's very popular to make semi-sweet or semi-dry wines. And one of the examples what we have here is the Pyrrhus Mani, which is the semi-dry wine. Um, so a semi-dry wine in the next, what we have, this is the semi-sweet, Alla Zanibeli. So semi-sweet and semi-dry wines pairs really well with our uh, uh, desserts and not only ours. It has really rich aromas and because of that, it can be uh, like matched not only with dessert. It's also really good uh, with like the... Mm, a salty cheese because it's like the balancing really well the uh, taste and it's also really good with like uh, spicy foods and gives us like the really rich combination of a uh, wine and the uh, dish so uh, this is the first one and the this is our Zanivelli as I said this is like the semi-sweet wine so this is very popular uh, wine in Georgia uh, and uh, it's also very popular because uh, it's very easy drinking wine it's not for sure for aging it's totally different it's for young drinking and because of that this young drinking this freshness what we have in this wine and for sure this residual sugar uh, sweetness what we have in our wine 
wine um, gives us the opportunity to drink it like the more easier. So uh, we talked about the semi-sweet and semi-dry wines and we have tried it, but most popular semi-sweet wine what we have in Georgia and the main is Kins Marauli, which is name of the Pedeo. It's a micro zone and here we always have Saparabi grape. So this is also underlying this um, very interesting uh, mm, uh, like thing about Saparavi that it can be dry, it can be semi-sweet, it can be young, it can be aged and here we always have semi-sweet Saparavi. So Kinza Marauli mm, is the one of the main micro zone uh, because it's one of the oldest for sure and here we have very high quality uh, Saparavi uh, and uh, micro zone, what is the Kinza Marauli, we own like the half of this micro zone, what we have vineyard there, we own this vineyard, so we always make uh, a Kitsmarauli from our micro zone, from our vineyard, and uh, because of that, we take care a lot about this one. So, this is naturally semi sweet, this is very important. We always underline that it's naturally semi sweet. So, what's happened here? Uh, it can accumulate a really high sugar in this micro zone Saparavi grape, so in the end, like the we have really. Uh, like the a high sugar and in the end all sugar cannot be converted into the alcohol we're like the moving into like the cold reservoir our wine just to stop the fermentation and the sugar like sweetness what you will feel right now here it comes from the grape itself so it's not like the artificial sweetness what we have in this wine so because of that we always say that it's naturally semi-sweet wines and uh, now for us uh, this is very important and this is like the our niche uh, because because uh, you cannot find a lot of like the semi-sweet red wines uh, like the in all over the world and Georgia is very rich with this uh, kind of wine and also uh, it's very important that it's not the like the sweet wine that will not be like the pleasant to drink because still here we have strong grape variety Saparavi and the sweetness and the tannins and the body what we have from Saparavi is balancing each other so also if we will do like the really good pairing for sure it helps uh, and uh, for me personally more, more we for sure were drinking like the red wine in a room temperature but semi-sweet especially kids but only is really good when it's a little bit chilled okay and the last semi-sweet bottle what we have here this is Akasheni. So Akasheni is also the name of the Pedeo. It's also the microzone. And here we have the like, Saparabi grape variety. Mm, like the, the difference is that, for example, this microzone is like the not as big as Kins Marauli. This is like the more small mm, microzone. Uh, and here always we have like the more softer uh, uh, wines and you cannot like the uh, uh, feel here the tannins from Saparavi so because of that in the end this is like the more easy drinking semi-sweet wine to compare this to Kinsmar Oli we have here sparkling wine. We're making different kinds of sparkling wines, like brut, medium dry, medium sweet. We're making, as you see, the rosa sparkling. So this is made from Saparavi grape. And uh, for us, the main thing in sparkling wine is that to be rich with the bubbles. So here we have intensive and uh, rich bubbles with, which last for a long time. And from our name of Taliani Valley, I want to wish you the happy Christmas and the happy new year health and everything best in this year.